Welcome to the 3-minute guide to Atromedes Heroic. This two-faced boss, despite being the third encounter of the raid, is honestly the easiest fight of the entire tier. For this encounter, you only want to bring one tank, so one tank will need to have a DPS set and spec ready. Since Atromedes is blind, a core part of the encounter will be the soundbar that is specific to each individual player. There are several mechanics that fills up the soundbar, some avoidable, some unavoidable, and if it reaches 100%, the boss will instantly kill you. The only way to reset the sound is to use the gongs on the outer edges of the room to stun him. While he's stunned, he takes 50% increased damage for 5 seconds. But you're limited to 5 gong clicks on Heroic, and thus you need to use them to actually deal with mechanics rather than just straight damage. That being said, pay attention to when the gongs are about to be used so you can offload big hitting abilities when he's stunned. Let's take a look at his abilities. He will every 50 seconds or so cast Modulation, which is a raid-wide AoE ability, it grants 10 sound and is unavoidable. Then we have Sonar Pulse, which are rings that spawning from the middle of the boss, moving towards a specific target, dealing damage and granting you 7 sound per tick if hit. This is completely avoidable and you should never take damage from these. The boss's hitbox is huge, so always stay max melee range. There are two ways to deal with this mechanic. One way is to have the raid spread around the room in two semi-circles, and it will be up to the individual to move from each individual ring. The other way is to form two camps on the side of the boss and move between two markers for every single pulse. This requires more movement, but makes the AoE healing easier and it'll be easier to interrupt the adds. Speaking of interrupts, on Heroic you'll have Obnoxious Fiends that jumps on someone's back while casting Obnoxious, which grants the player 10 sound if the cast goes off. Interrupt these and kill as soon as possible. Every 45 seconds or so, he will cast Sonic Breath. This will target one specific member and follow it while it's cast. Run counter to the raid, so as few people as possible will have to move. It will grant you 25 sound if hit. His last ground face ability is Searing Flame. He will cast his ability once per ground face and it does absolutely massive AoE damage. This always have to be interrupted with the gong or you will wipe. Have a hunter or a mobile range move out before the cast to click the gong instantly after it's cast. After 1 minute and 30 seconds, he'll fly up in the air and phase 2 will start. He'll spawn fire and sonar bombs, which should be avoided. His main mechanic is he'll cast Roaring Flame Breath, targeting an individual member with a beam of flame. This beam starts out slow, but becomes faster the longer it's active. Your objective is to kite this beam for as long as possible before clicking a gong to stun the boss and reset the target and ability. Ideally, you only want to use one gong per air phase, but using two is absolutely fine. Whoever is targeted should use their own speed increase, get Slampeeding Roar from Druids, Life Grips from Priests, and Rocket Boots to kite for as long as possible. Have one person assigned to click the gong and one backup clicker. Make sure to kite in the outskirts as to not fill up the room with fire. After 40 seconds, he'll come down and phase 1 will start again. Rinse and repeat until either you're out of gongs or the boss is dead. And that's how you kill Atromedes Heroic. Subscribe for more 3-minute guides. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.